Hi, Millie. Good morning. Are you going to smile? <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Welcome to the vlog. Today, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to be talking about Millie's three to six month essentials. So I thought it would be a whole lot better if I just showed you guys the different things in action. So I do have a list so that I'm able to try to sort of keep on track. It is not in order of how we use it throughout the day, which that probably would have been smart if I would have done it that way. But my goal was to just show you how we use things every day, sometimes every other day, um, because maybe like bath stuff, she doesn't get a bath every single day. Uh, but we're just gonna show you pretty much what is essential for her or what has been essential for her for the past three to six months. We're almost at seven months. So it's definitely time for me to do this video. She is in one of what we think is essential things um, to keep her occupied while I get breakfast done. So let's talk about that first. Hi, Millie. So clearly she loves this thing. It has different um, height settings. So depending on how tall your child is, because you want their feet to be touching flat. I know you can't see her feet. They're down there. <laughs> Um, but we love this one because it is not those obnoxious, ridiculous colors. It's not very heavy, but it is very sturdy. The legs are wood. We love the colors of it. I love the fact that it has the activities around it. She does have a swiveling seat. She just really loves this thing. It's easy to pick up and move around. Um, it's not collapsible or anything, but we find it pretty easy to move it from our den into our living room. So, um, It'll fit through that doorway. So if you were wondering about that, then she loves it, clearly. One way we used to get rid of hiccups was gripe water, but now she's drinking actual water when she'll drink it. <coughs> but she sees food right now, so. Um, so we're going to talk about food a little bit. <laughs> this is, this is the cute little eater that y'all see all the time. This is what she looks like before she gets to eat. All right. So today we're eating banana blueberry fritters and she freaking kills these out. The blueberries are super messy, which we learned that yesterday. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but as far as food essentials go, Millie started eating around four and a half months and I introduced very soft food. So some pureed up avocado, um, sweet potato, butternut squash, anything that I could puree up. Um, she was very interested early on, which they say you can start solids around four months. I didn't think she was ready at four months and I didn't think she was ready for like straight up um, food like she's eating right now. After that four and a half month mark, and we noticed that she was doing really well with that, she was very interested in feeding herself. So then we went on to what we like to call a pacifier feeder, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen different clips and videos over um, using that. And she loved that. And we used that up until we transitioned into more like recipe type stuff. So she eats a lot of different stuff. We did recently do a what we eat in a day video. So if y'all wanna see more of her, um, what she eats. She has breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And she also has a, um, a snack in the evening. And she is breastfed, so she has four nursing sessions a day, <laughs> plus three meals and a snack. If we are feeding her something like oatmeal or yogurt, then obviously we're gonna use bowls and spoons. And I'll link those down below, the ones that we use. Um, I didn't wanna get anything that she wouldn't be able to use when she got older, so we love the cutie pat tinsels. Or not cutie pad, the cutie tinsels. Um, they have like a fork like thing on one side and a spoon on the other. Bibs are something else that I have talked about before and we have a few different favorites. This one snaps that she has on right now. And we also have some Velcro ones that cover a little more clothing. Um, one of our favorite ones is also half like this kind of waterproof material and have silicone. I will link all three of those down below. I would like to have more of those, but they're kind of expensive. So I think we'll stick with, we'll stick with these other ones. Um, we really do like the Velcro ones because they're like, I think they're called super bibs and they just cover like 
really far out here and she does pretty good she doesn't make too much of a mess but they're waterproof so they're really easy to wash you can just rinse them off at the sink and let them dry they are a lifesaver and then when it comes to cleaning her up once she's done because that's going to be key i was using wipes and that's just not cost effective so we put her burp cloths into use now these i actually bought for this specific reason because we found that some of her burp cloths were just like a little too thick and they were sort of not cleaning really well they were just sort of knocking things off and they would get attached here and when you would go to wipe her again they would just go right back on her if that makes sense so this one's like really absorbent it's easy to clean her with so i'll link those down below because she never really spit up any when she was first like figuring out how to nurse and all that and she's still, you know, even in like those late night feedings and stuff. The burp cloths were just something we never really got to utilize when she was smaller. But now, we definitely use them to clean her. <laughs> to clean her up when she's eating. We did introduce a sippy cup with water. And she has this with her meals. Now, this one does have a straw. We also do have a traditional sippy cup that she started um with just a few days ago because this one was in the dishwasher um and i kind of wanted to see if she would like the other one i like this one because no matter what way she turns it that straw is weighted and it's just gonna fall and she'll still always be able to get something to drink but with that sippy cup she's gonna have to tilt her head back to get the water out <laughs> she's always splashing herself in the face All right, so breakfast is over and we don't get so crazy now because she's going to be going down for a nap soon. So I like to do very chill, seated play. I will also put her in her um, bouncer seat. It, she doesn't really bounce in it right now. Um, so it's perfect just to let her sit and let her food kind of go down. <laughs> um, but she also is obsessed with teething stuff and she has been for a few months now. And this little blue thing that she is chewing on is really, really cheap. And we love it because it has a, I don't know if y'all can hear that, almost like little silicone bristles on it. And she absolutely loves the feel of that on her gums. And the little links that are attached to it did not come with it. But she obs she's obsessed with those and I've talked about them before. Um, but she's been obsessed with them for the longest time. They come in a huge pack like 20 of them for like four bucks and i did not get them with the intention of her playing with them i thought she wouldn't like them because they were hard plastic i was thinking okay she's only probably going to want to chew on silicone like really soft stuff but i was wrong here's a seat i was talking about but those links i had every intention of using them to attach different toys and stuff to her seats and strollers and stuff because i felt like she would play with it and then it would get away from her and then maybe she wouldn't be able to use it because of where it fell um so the links keep it possible for like right now she's shaking it i normally would have like extra ones on there so she can shake it a little bit further away but then i'll have one just hooked to whatever it is she's playing with so that she doesn't lose her toy but i am missing i am missing a link <laughs> so it's normally it's normally longer so she can play with it a whole lot better but um yeah you can attach sippy cups to their car seat or to their stroller all kinds of little things um we used it a lot when she used her play mat she stopped using her play mat when she started rolling um from back to front she's been rolling from front to back since she was two months but around that five month mark she figured out well probably more closer to six months she figured out how to roll from her back to her front and after she figured that out she doesn't stay on the play mat anymore so we put that up into storage but we did use that um pretty much just about the whole time like three to six months so if you want a play mat we loved ours it has the black and white but it also had really pretty pastel colors on it it wasn't obnoxious she loved it it made sound it lit up which was her favorite thing to watch the lights bounce across those top little bar things that had the little toys hanging from them when she was teeny tiny and her arms couldn't quite reach stuff um those links came in handy too because we could put stuff down a little bit further for her to be able to grab it 
they're just really good for a lot of stuff but this seat has a different level so you can sit up more or you can lay all the way back and recline we love it this was one of those things that i bought when she couldn't quite sit up on her own um, but she wanted to sit up and she wanted to look around and see this made it possible and at the time this was the only thing that they made that set up this high that you could also store away so this also folds down completely i could slide it up under this couch if i wanted to comes in a bunch of fabrics and colors obviously the fancier you go the more expensive they are this is like the baseline model i got the cheapest one <laughs> and we also got the toy bar to go with it and when she started playing with that it's like non-stop fun and once she gets a little tired of it i will hook on some new toys for her to play with so it keeps her occupied we got a little stinker on our hands now so i'm going to go change her diaper we're going to talk about a few things that changed in that department and some things that i find that are essential as you can see we have a very active and roly-poly little girl we keep her occupied while we change her diaper that little teether is one of her favorites and of course it's got a link attached to it everything does diapers so she did size up in diapers i have to refuel this little thing i try to refill it before it gets empty so then i'm not scrambling when she's up here because that's just not a good idea so she did go up to a size three which means she can now wear nighttime diapers and i had no idea that was a thing um but they will last for 12 hours she does sleep 12 hours at night she sleeps through the night we wear the honest diapers we <laughs> she wears the honest diapers um so they have like two different prints they have this purple one and they have a blue they both have like moon and stars on them those help out so she's not like leaking through anything and they've been a huge hit so that changed for us and like i said she's just in a size a size three so obviously you know diapers and wipes are essential so just wanted to mention the whole thing about the nighttime diaper in case you didn't know one more diaper related thing because she is eating foods now, um, she has got some crazy poop situations. And the Aquaphor Baby has been probably our top favorite diaper ointment or any kind of just healing ointment in general. It's sort of a clear, almost Vaseline looking type mixture. Um, and it works really well. It goes on. It applies really well. And this tub is huge. And we've used it a few times um in her almost seven months of life and we're nowhere near like even like this much of the way done so it lasts forever if something's real serious we'll go with this but it's never been that serious because we always put this on immediately this is another thing that we've been using and loving i love the fact that it's it's from Dr. Bronner's. We love Dr. Bronner's. So this is going to be unscented. It just has a bunch of different oils in it. I'm trying to see where the, the ingredients are. Oh, right in my face. It has avocado oil, jojoba oil, beeswax, coconut oil, olive oil, and hemp seed oil. This is amazing. I put it on her face if her cheeks look a little chapped. Or we're thinking maybe she might have a little bit of eczema just like her mama. Um, so any like little dry patches that she might have, I'll put this on it and we can tell a noticeable difference in no time. We freaking love this. So while we're back here in her room, I figured I'd just go ahead and show you some teething stuff because that has occurred within that three to six month window. The thing I started off with first was the Wellaments Baby Tooth Oil. And this stuff right here. I guess it done pretty good at first and maybe it would do better now if I tried doing it now. I think maybe I started using this like a little early on. She hasn't broke through any teeth just yet, but I feel like it's coming. I feel like it's coming. I mean, you can kind of sort of see them sort of kind of <laughs> um, on the bottom, but who knows? Baby teeth is just hard to figure out and decipher when they're coming. But this stuff is like organic. This stuff is organic. You just have to rub it on their gums, which she's not a super huge fan of you doing that. So I typically would like drop it on that raspberry tether that she has or on a passy. And we would use that to put it in her mouth. Um, this just wasn't like the super easiest thing in the world. Then we tried these because I heard really good things about these. But I didn't notice any help with these at all. And um, these were a little bit more aggravating to give. I mean, they're like single dosage little packets and they're not that cheap. So there is some more in there, which if times get hard, we might use those. But what we've recently started doing are these Highland Baby 
teething tablets. These are homeopathic, so we found that these work the best. We do have the day and the night time. I might end up giving her one or two of these during the day and then one before bed. I find that if we do the one before bed, she doesn't wake up um, screaming from gum pain or anything. Um, there was a couple nights that I forgot and I had to come in around like two o'clock in the morning and I gave her one and she went right back to sleep about five minutes later. So I think they work and these so far have been our favorite. Hi, are you playing with your friends? <laughs> Let's put this back so we know where it is. In case you didn't know, Mila loves books, and we love reading her books. I love collecting the books. There's a few missing right here, just because they're down here. I want to show you a few of our favorites to read her, and I will link them down below. We obviously love anything that's going to talk about God and praying for, for baby Mila. Um, so those are typically our favorites. These Matthew Paul Turner books are like my favorite. Um, there's like three more. I plan on getting her those. One of them in particular, I'm going to wait for her first birthday because of just the significance of the book that he has. Um, but I'll link all of the Matthew Turner books down below. We love them. The illustrations are beautiful. They're not board books, which I typically like to get for this age because she's super interested and I don't want her to tear them up <laughs> like she's doing right now. So when she's chill and we're, you know, like wrapping up for bed is when I'll typically pull out these books. And the colors and the illustrations get her attention. She loves it. I mean, just look how pretty these books are. And I love how all different races are depicted in these books. It's not just one certain race, which is important to us because we are Native American. And I don't want her to look in books and be like, why don't they look like me or, you know, so, I love that. This one is gorgeous. This one has a bunch of, like, abstract type art in it. It is beautiful. And the stories are beautiful. She is loving it. This one, Cody really, really enjoys. Um, Millie got this for him for Christmas. Um, really cute. We need to write in the front of it. And it's just different animals with their dads. And he loves animals and... She loves doggies so far. <laughs> she hasn't really got to see any animals. And this one makes mama cry. That one's really good, ain't it, Millie? And it's a board book, so she can help me flip the pages. And she really enjoys doing that. And it's just, oh, this book is so sweet. I'm telling you, if you want to cry, <laughs> read this book. But if you don't want to, then don't get it because it is a tearjerker for sure, ain't it, Millie? Yeah. She loves it. Alright, Millie. Your sound machine's turned on. That means it's time for a nap. while I have her pulled up on the monitor over there which is also something that became essential when she transitioned into her crib full-time which was uh I think she was like three and a half months old so having a good reliable baby monitor was key even though she keeps rolling out of the <laughs> I like this one because you can actually move it um <laughs> everywhere so the baby monitor we were using previously ran off of wi-fi and it was also stationary so it didn't have that moving option or zooming in unless you um because it was on an app you could take your fingers and just kind of like you know drag it out to zoom it in uh but you could not move the camera around like you can with that one which is one of the reasons why i love this one and plus it doesn't run off of wi-fi it has like its own signal um so you can not be worried about if your internet sucks like ours did when we first got that first initial monitor she's moved back into the frame now and you can talk into this one very clearly you can change the brightness there's a lot of stuff you can do with this one um 
but this one is rechargeable. I love the fact that I don't have to try to pull up an app on my phone and um, have to wait on that app to load to figure out, especially if I hear a noise, I'm trying to figure out what it is without having to go in there or having to wait forever for that app. That was one issue that I had with the Owlet camera and it was mainly just our internet. It's just sort of wonky here and there. So when she moved into her crib full time, I did not want, <laughs> I did not want to have that worry. I wanted to be completely stress free in that transition because that was a big transition for us. So, um, yeah, definitely wanted to make sure that mama was at ease. I am pretty sure you heard her sound machine going on. I've talked about those before, but that was something else that we found very crucial. We had one in our room and one in her room as well, which made the transition into rooms very seamlessly because one thing that I wanted to implement um, even before she was born, so that we would be able to get used to it because she did sleep in our room for those first three and a half months. We went ahead and figured out the setting that we wanted the sound machine to be on and started using that a few weeks before she was born so that we would be adjusted to it. And we have used that same exact setting for nighttime ever since she came home. So we use a very dim red light and the wind, it looks like wind swirls we have the hatch baby wrist so if you know what i'm talking about um that's what we use we like the red because red is supposed to help i guess signify sleepiness so warm tone so anything that's cool toned blues um greens yellows i would well yellow is kind of warm um but anything that's more on the cool side that typically like wakes your eyes up so she doesn't sleep in complete darkness which makes it easy for us if one of us have to go in there in the middle of the night we're not stumbling and trying to find her or find something or find a pass or get a teething tablet to have to give to her so she was so accustomed to that red and that noise that it began to sort of train her brain like when she sees that and when she hears it she knows it's time to go to sleep that made the transition very good and i also started utilizing a sleep sack and that's what you've seen me putting her in our favorite sleep sacks and swaddles quickly became the nested bean and i've showed y'all those before but we started because she was looking like she was going to start rolling very soon and if you did not know if your child is swaddled and rolls from their back to their front they if their arms are tied down then obviously they're not going to be able to roll back over freely um they might be like smashing to their face it's just not a good situation so it's a very smart idea to go ahead and begin transitioning them to their arms being free before they figure out how to roll over because that is just that's tragic if you're not able to catch them when they do it um or if you have to do cold turkey and take it from them that is tragic i started early and I was so happy that we had the Zen One Nest Bean Swaddle. You have seen it in vlogs before. She looked like she was in a little straight jacket, but it was amazing. It has the zip off option so that they're still in the same little outfit, the same little swaddle that they're used to and they'd love. But then you can slowly begin to transition her. I took one arm out, so I just unzipped the one and left her with the one arm for about a week. And then I did the other one, which did not work as well as the first one. And I learned very quickly that when I wanted to integrate changes, it was easier for me to do during those nighttime sleeps than during nap time. So that night when she went down, I went ahead and took it and I didn't have to worry about it anymore. So that is what we transitioned her through and we kept her in that until she outgrew it. And then we moved to the sleep sack, which is also nested vein. And it has that weighted chest on it. And because she has become a tummy sleeper, I've actually been letting her wear it backwards so that while she's on her belly, the weighted part is on her back and she just feels comforted without being swaddled she still has a little bit of pressure on her kind of like a little weighted blanket but it's just in that one little spot so if it was on her chest then obviously it would be right here but it's in the middle of her back so amelia is up from her second nap you can probably hear her she's just laying in there chilling talking <laughs> um after her first nap we had a zoom meeting with our family um 
meeting like more like family time so i'm gonna go get her up one thing that is so funny now i've been turning on the light in her room and every time i do that i hope the camera's able to catch it she turns and slams her face down into the mattress and starts grinning i know it's because the light's so bright but it's so funny <laughs> camera look at mommy hi really <laughs> did you sleep good hi did you poopy and you sleep huh you the poopy in this little thing where are you going let me check you did <laughs> what are you doing what are you doing huh <laughs> All right, let's try your diapy. <laughs> One of our favorite ways to nurse is to lay down because Millie is super active now. So <laughs> trying to hold her and let her eat is a struggle sometimes depending on where you're sitting so the easiest way i found is to just take take a load off and just come lay down and let her nurse so that's what we do she doesn't nurse for very long maybe 10 minutes don't show your body mommy's goodies so yeah that's not an essential thing but if you're breastfeeding and you have not nursed laying down you are missing out <laughs> uh, Ooh. Whoa. Don't go take mama's camera. No. Really? You can't take mommy's camera. It's such a pretty day. She's going to try out her sun hat. Yeah, you got a new sun hat? And we love this one because it adjusts. So she's never tried this one on just yet. I had to clean it. Um, but I had searched for an adjustable one that she would be able to get some wear out of because her other ones were just aggravating. Because uh, it had a Velcro little strap that went under her neck. So I'm going to show you that. We think that is essential. Especially if you have a baby um, during the time that it's going to be hot outside. And if not and it's cold outside. Then you would need some kind of like bogging. We call them toboggans. <laughs> um, toboggan. I don't know how you guys say it, wherever you're from. So hats are essential. It just depends on the weather that your three to six month baby is. So, since it's nice and sunny and we're coming up onto the summertime here in the Carolinas, a sun hat is a definite. Not saying that we don't have those crazy, windy, chilly days, because we do, and I still will put, like, her little toboggans on. She just loves rolling around on the floor. You might have been using a stroller beforehand, um, before the 36 month mark, or maybe you just stayed at home <laughs> and didn't go anywhere, um, but our stroller is compatible with our car seat so we can just pop this stroller off and pop the car seat in which we use that forever until she started sitting more so around that three month mark we started using the actual like stroller seat thing she freaking loves it we love this system because you can turn it both ways so right now we like her facing us but then she can turn around to face the outside and once that happens then we are still able to open this and we'll be able to see what's going on in there make sure nothing's crazy um, but that's like magnetized so I really love really love that also has a really nice sun 
shade, which folds up nicely inside. It's just a really, really nice car seat. And I always have a toy that clicks. And I always have a toy up here in this little bin, once again, with one of those little links. <laughs> and I use it to attach a toy to it. And she just chews on that and plays with it. She runs it across back and forth. See, this is why I bought these links. They're so helpful. So Millie wanted to show you guys her tub and we are still washing her up on the counter in the bathroom. She is literally holding the camera right now, showing y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is the tub that we've been using since she was a newborn. It has a moving little seat, which I can't move with one hand, but this used to sit up here on both sides. And it was like a little sling. So when she couldn't support herself and sit up, it was perfect. It's the perfect size. Obviously, it, Millie, <laughs> obviously it can fit up here on the counter in the bathroom, which is perfect for us because it's not easy for us to get into the shower with the doors and stuff that's on it. So we love this. And we love the fact that now because she's bigger and she's sitting unassisted, we could move those little pegs back. And now she can sit perfectly on her little booty back there. And in case I've never shown y'all what we wash her with, we love the baby Shea Moisture stuff. It's so good. All right, so coming in Millie's closet, there's something I want to talk about, which is carriers. And that's more structured carriers. So in my zero to three month video, and if you did not know I did that video, I will have it linked down below. I talked about more of like the wrap style, tie on yourself kind of carrier. Because for that age and the size that she was... It was really nice to have that carrier, but now that she's bigger and she's super mobile, um, a more structured carrier is ideal. Um, now, I do have a couple different brands, and I recently got this Sakura, I think is how you pronounce it, Bloom. Um, I love the material because it's like really lightweight and breathable. I also have a Baby Tula. Um, I have two different ones. I have the Explorer and free to grow i think is what they're called one i think the explorer they can go forwards or like facing forward or flip out the other way and then the other one they can just like face you and then this one you can wear the baby on your back or on your front but they wouldn't be able to turn like out and see with you um but i think i want to really love this one for the summertime because it's that more lightweight flexible material it's not as structured but it's still structured it has the ring sort of sling around your waist also has that little sun thing for their head that you can take off um really really love this and it's just really pretty like i think that this is this won't stand out so much as like some of the other carriers do y'all have seen her in many vlogs play with these keys in her car seat and this is something else that that she loves too so i'll link both of these toys also of course there's more links i'm telling you these links are everywhere but these keys she loves she didn't love them at first but when she got around that four month mark and she started chewing on everything these these right here she freaking is obsessed with them she will chew on them for so so long and then one more thing that she loves to play with i'm gonna go around there and show you what it is but she has these crinkle books and we'll take them with us every time we get in the car and she literally plays with them like the whole time she does have a couple different ones but this one i think is her favorite because the colors are brighter um it has things that hang outside of it all the little like animal like the tail, the claws, the little octopus tentacles, and it has a little mirror on the last page. This one is her favorite, I think, by far. And look, another link. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're everywhere. Another toy that was super fun for Millie, and she's eyeballing it, were the set of foot rattles. And they were also like wrist rattles. They're sweetie. Now she doesn't wear them anymore because she just she knows how to snatch them off. She used those little foot rattles to get her to learn how to pull her feet up to her face. Um, now she just eats her feet <laughs> all the time. But it was really good for her to get stretching and um, get those limbs loosened up. So those little foot rattles helped her get her foot to her mouth. So um, those come in a set. So you're going to get the little like wrist rattle they velcro around the wrist and then those are like little socks now she just likes to shake them and chew on them 
So those are really cheap too. Those were a gift from our Aunt Brittany. She loves sitting in this little sit me up seat from Fisher Price. And she also loves this little. Yeah. Uh huh. She also loves Sophie. This is one of the Sophies. She likes this one, I think, because of the two little handles like on each side. So that's why I ended up picking this one. She loves chewing on it. Who's to say she wouldn't like chewing on the other one too, but this one's cheaper. And it just has those little rings on it. And we just attach it with a pacifier clip so that she doesn't drop it. We can always grab it for her. And that's the little sun hat that I was talking about. I love it. It's so cute. So it covers her ears from the wind blowing. Also keeps all that sun off of her. And around the base right here is adjustable. And the little strap underneath is adjustable too. And it has a little breakaway thing over there to get it off. Quicker. Mila's taking her last little cat nap of the day. Look at her. Sleeping so good. <laughs> she might fall asleep. Maybe. After she decides to stop beating this out of the crib. During this last nap, I'm going to do a little bit of work. And then once she gets up, we're going to try to start and get supper ready. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I hope it was informative for those of you that wanted to know essential things for that three to six month um, span of time. I am going to try my best to... Um, group everything down below in the description box. So if you're looking for something for a specific reason, um, for food wise, play, different topics like that, you can easily go to the category. Um, so it'll be easier to find for you. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe here to our YouTube channel. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day, y'all. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!